Hi everyone, it's Moa aka Swedish Whiskey Girl and today I'm here with the Speyside Single Malt. So it is of course the Balveni Caribbean Cask. So it's a 14 year old single malt uh, made at the Balveni Distillery which is located in Dufftown up in Speyside. And this whiskey sits at 43% ABV. Uh, it has also enjoyed <laughs> a further maturation, so a finishing time in rum casks. So these are American oak rum casks that have been seasoned with a specific kind of rum blend. And of course this last summer I had the pleasure of being up in Speyside uh, for the second time and we actually drove past Dufftown and we were at Glenfiddich Distillery and um, so next time is definitely time for the Balvenie. But let's have a little look at the nose. This just has that kind of typical classic scotch balvenie <laughs> tone to it. Of course the balvenie is one of the most popular scotches in the world and um, you can kind of see why it does have this kind of classic character to it that is very easy to enjoy. So on the nose it has a lovely kind of sweetness, a lovely kind of fruity sweetness I would say, more like um, oranges or kind of vanilla sweetness perhaps. It doesn't makes me think initially of rum, even though it is that sweetness that reaches me quickest, but the sweetness I associate with rum is often quite sticky and quite like brown sugar, but this is more of a vanilla sweetness, so more like a natural sweetness in a way. Still kind of notes of pears, like juicy, ripe, nice pears. Kind of a soft malty note that almost feel like an earthiness as well. It almost smells like a really kind of charming old leather wood library. <laughs> it's just kind of a really nice environment where you almost have some like rich aromas just lingering in the air. Probably that woodiness that just gives it such a classic, timeless aroma. But let's have a little taste, slunge of that. <laughs> it's almost too easy to drink this, I think. It's um, definitely that kind of classic sit at home, maybe in an evening in a nice kind of rocking chair or a leather sofa and just sit and sip this. It does have that kind of vanilla sweetness coming through. I am getting a really really nice oakiness that I am enjoying on this whiskey. It's that kind of oakiness that has very soft bitterness but still like this nice robust kind of secure flavour, I would say, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Of course, some fruitiness as well. More kind of like oranges, I would say, on the palate, along with that lovely oakiness. I do enjoy when I can get like that nice, well-balanced oakiness in a whiskey because it just makes it feel so kind of heavy in a way, but like just like a lot of depth to it, I would say and you get that lovely oakiness lingering on the finish as well. But it also has this kind of elegance and velvety feel to it. Very juicy, just, yeah, timeless, I think is a great word to describe this whiskey because it just works. And I can definitely see why it's such a popular choice amongst many. No, not really any sharp spices, just lots of flavor but without being sharp in any way. If you like a bit of an oakiness along with like a juicy note and that kind of sweetness, uh, then I don't think the Balvin is gonna disappoint you. Uh, <laughs> I do also think that that's quite similar to what you would find in their 12 year olds for, for example as well, and other whiskies to just have that lovely oaky character um, in their spirit. Yeah, and just like a hint of spice in your tongue, which just kind of 
still 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 feels very fresh. Just maybe a hint of cinnamon. And you do also get kind of a little like smooth kind of explosion of those kind of rum sweetness in it as well. It's definitely not overpowering the rum character. It's just like lingering in the back of that oakiness, that kind of rum sweetness that comes in. Just a hint of kind of that tropical note in this kind of classic flavours. If you want something really classic, really nice, there is a reason it's so popular and so well loved. That the Balvenie Caribbean cast, the 14 year old, is definitely a great classic dram for you. Um, I'd love to hear what you think of Balvenie. Have you tried this specific one? Have you tried another one? Uh, what do you think about it? I'd love to hear, as always. And feel free to follow me on Instagram, the link is here below as well. And I hope you'll have a lovely day. Slanjava, Scott.